So a researcher is saying, this fall I returned to a research site to recover the armadillos I had tagged there the previous spring. So let me just write this. So previous spring, previous, previous spring, and then there is this fall, this fall, so we're moving in time. And he returns to a site to recover armadillos. So let's say that this is a broader region and he's returning to a site to, so this is the site right over here. And he returns to that site, so I'm drawing the broader region and I have this site over here. So this fall, I returned to a research site to recover the armadillos I had tagged the previous spring. So let's say here are the armadillos that he tagged the previous spring. Since a large majority of the armadillos I recaptured were found within a few hundred yards of the location of their tagging last spring. So he's recapturing them, so these are ones that he tagged before, and he's saying a large majority were found within a few hundred yards of the location of their tagging last spring. He concludes that armadillos do not move rapidly into new territories. I concluded that armadillos do not move rapidly into new territories. Now before I even look at this, the, the choices, which, and we're supposed to answer the question, which of the following is an assumption required by the researcher's argument? One question that immediately jumps in my brain is, well, he's assuming that well, they didn't go someplace in between. Maybe they went, you know, maybe they went here during the summer, which is quite far away, and then by fall they came back. And so there's some type of migratory behavior. He's assuming that in order to conclude that armadillos do not move rapidly into new territories, because they might have moved super fast into another territory and then come back. So let's see if any of these choices speak to that. Of the armadillos living in the area of the tagging last site of the tagging site last spring, few were able to avoid being tagged by the researcher. Well, no, his assumption isn't based on the proportion of armadillos of all of the armadillos he was able to tag. He's just saying, hey, of the ones that I'm recapturing, a lot of them seem to be near the same area. So this doesn't seem to be a key assumption required. Most of the armadillos tagged the previous spring were not recaptured during the subsequent fall. No, that's not a key assumption that he's making. In fact, that would undermine his position if he's only able to get a very small fraction that, you know, most of the armadillos tagged the previous spring were not recaptured during the subsequent fall. That would actually give a problem to his argument. Predators did not kill any of the armadillos that had been tagged the previous, kill, the previous spring. No, he's not saying that he recaptured all of the armadillos or that he needs to recapture all of the armadillos. It's possible that predators killed a few of them. But he's recapturing, he's saying of the ones that he, reca that he recaptured, that the majority were within a few hundred yards of this same location. And so it's, it's, it doesn't mean that he has to get all of them back, that we can't, you know, that all of them had to be alive from one year to the next. It's just most of them have to be around. D, the tags identifying the armadillos cannot be removed by the armadillos, either by accident or deliberately. No, once again, this is very close to C. He's not saying that he has to, that the tags have to, all the tags have to be there. He, he's, as he said, he's just saying mo the majority of the armadillos he recaptured. So he is assuming that he had to recapture a good chunk of them, but not all of them. So even if some of the tags get removed or some predators kill some of the armadillos, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. So now let's go to the last choice, which is hopefully the answer since I ruled out the first four. A majority, a large majority of the recaptured armadillos did not move to a new territory in the intervening summer and then move back to the old territory by fall. Well, this is actually almost, almost word for word what I was having a trouble with before. He's assuming, or she is assuming, the researcher is assuming that they didn't go, that the large majority did not move to a new territory and then come back in the intervening summer. So this for sure is the key assumption required by the researcher's argument.